Horses for Courses is an initiative that we launched in March in 2023. We felt it was really important with the focus of racing being at race courses, that actually they have an opportunity to demonstrate their commitment to aftercare. So every course now has an ambassador. They've adopted an ambassador, a former racehorse. And these horses are visiting race courses, not only on race days, but on non-race days. They may be involved with some local community activities. And the race courses are also following these horses um, on social media. So the other events and the competitions that they're going to, really showcasing what these former race horses are now doing. I think it's so important for people to see what racehorses do when their racing careers are over. They managed to have a new career and to see what Definitely Red has done. He was so popular on the race course and now he's this fantastic show horse. He and Andrew clearly have a real bond between them and are having so much fun. And it's just wonderful to see him looking so well and competing at such a high level, even though he's not a racehorse anymore. What's also been brilliant is Andrew, his rider and owner, is very active on social media, sharing loads of videos with us at the race course that we can then share with all of our race goers and all the people who follow us. So they're keeping up with the story of his retraining and what he's doing these days. Hi, so I'm Kelly Harding. This is Duke of Navan, and we're the Horses for Courses Ambassadors for Carlisle Racecourse. With Helen, the general manager between the two of us, and Helen has been great, we did a parade and then we've done, on Bell and Plate Day, we decided to do a meet and greet. And the meet and greet turned out really well because we stopped and we let people stroke him and they got to touch him and it was very well received. So I'm Beth Hutchinson and this is Weems Point. He's the ambassador for Weatherby, um, which is lovely because we actually owned him through his racing career and he ran and won at Weatherby a few times. So it's nice to keep that relationship. Won three times over hurdles there. It was his favourite track. I think the benefits of having an ROR ambassador are all positive. It, um, it shows everybody that the horses that we watch on the tracks day in, day out, um, have great opportunities to go on and do great things in second careers, be it dressage, eventing, showing, um, or happy hacking. Weatherby's kind of local to us, so it's nice to be able to promote the track and what the horse is doing after racing. So the moment um, started off this year with a bit of a blog about Weems just starting his new career. Um, kind of just introducing people really to him and what we're going to do. And yeah, I think it's just about showing that the link the race, race courses have still with the horses after training. The more race courses we can get involved, adopting this Horses for Courses branding as it were, that really does help to us to amplify um, the, the commitment from across UK racing of the importance of aftercare.